Here's a tip to help you be more efficient on the SAT math section and how to apply it. So when you glance at question seven, you see it's going to be more than three lines. Now, because it's more than three lines, I'm probably going to be dealing with some sort of equation or system of equations or system of inequalities. So what I'm going to do is as I read through it, I'm going to start writing down coefficients and variables so that I can kind of get my equation on my initial read through, hopefully, which should save me time. So let's go ahead and read through. Let's see about nine storage bins that were each the same price. He used a coupon for $63 off the entire purchase. The cost for the entire purchase after using the coupon was $27. Okay, and we know that he got $63 off and it's nine times some variable. We'll see if we get what that is. What was the original price in dollars for one storage bin? We're not giving it, so we'll just call that X. Okay, so now we have to solve for X. X is the cost per storage bin. Um, so all we gotta do here is isolate X. We'll add 63 to both sides. Okay, we're gonna end up with 90 is equal to 9X. We divide both sides by nine and that will give us X is equal to 10. So our answer there will be 10. So as you can see, by writing down our coefficients and variables on our initial read through, we're able to save time because we don't have to go 